Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with today's trading action. All right, now as we come back to the markets, the US dollar just a little bit higher across the board, okay? I mean, it sort of went up and then it sort of just retreated a bit, but enough just to disrupt the general flow of things. And that really came down to Jerome Powell. He was at a uh, some conference somewhere and did mention that the Fed are in no hurry to implement further interest rate cuts, which is not really true. Right, They are in the process of cutting rates, but not as aggressively as the market thought. So with that, the market has moved to uh, a 62.5% chance of 0.25% cut. Right, The market was favoring uh, a 50 basis point cut, but he sort of just slowed that down. And that's I think he's done a nice job to manage the expectations of the general market. And now it comes back to the economic numbers and we see what the dollar is doing. Non-farm payrolls this week, I don't think it's particularly a great trading opportunity, but it is a great indicator whether they need to cut by 50 basis points or just 25. At the moment, Powell's saying 25. So let's just go with that. Now, let's just have a look where the, where the main flow of activity will be today. So just looking at the markets. Now, going back years ago, uh, I'm talking like the mid-90s, uh, the Tancam was a huge number out of Japan, Right. Japan being a massive manufacturing country, this was all about manufacturing, right? Gave us a, a lot of detail about all the different manufacturing sectors. But now it doesn't really do, do a lot for us unless there's really significant variants. So I'm not like getting super pumped for it, but I'm just letting you know that this is what was the, the sort of main number out of Japan. Coming into the, uh, the Aussie, if I just scroll back up, just lost my way there. Uh, you got some building approvals, retail sales figures, house numbers out of Australia. This is like third tier numbers, but can give us a, a big look under the rug, see how that sector is going, right? To me, it's uh, in for a bit of pain. The higher interest rates have been uh, slowing things down. So let's keep a close eye on that as we go forward today. Um, then really coming into the sort of main events, we've got the uh, retail sales manufacturing numbers out of Switzerland. Okay, not, there's not a lot of numbers that come out of Switzerland. So pay attention uh, to the ones that do come out. They are looking for a slightly lower number than the previous month and the range 46 to 48.5. But the key data for me that I'll be looking at is the uh, flash manufacturer, I mean flash manufacturer, flash CPI numbers out of the Eurozone, right? Now, I'd say eight times out of 10, these numbers don't really do much. But the odd occasion that they are variant can have an impact. And with the central bank, you know, on an interest rate cutting cycle, this could expedite things into a bigger cut or if it's stronger, then lower. So 1.8% is the uh, number we're looking for and the range 1.6 to 2.2, right? And that's really the focus of the markets uh, coming into today's trading, right? So you can get that uh, data off the uh, off the website, follow the numbers as they come out, just refresh the page. For those traders who uh, are registered for the live sessions, I'll be covering the inflation uh, numbers out of the Eurozone uh, later today. Do I expect much? Not really, but I tell you what, if you don't look, you don't get the chance to hit it if it does come out uh, a little bit skew if. All right, so that's where we are with the uh, Eurozone numbers, the trading action for today. Um, as I said, I'm not really looking for too much out of uh, uh, Japan, but maybe something out of the housing numbers. You really need significant variance to get those numbers having an impact, but it will paint a picture. And there goes my VPS. All right, guys, that's it for me. Have a good one. All the best. Cheerio.